Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the end of November. So if you are Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, this reading may be for you. November 15th through the 30th. Let's just see what comes up. Mmm. Casket. Let me just fix that. There we go. Someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. So I'm not exactly sure what is going on. Uh, why the focus? I just put it on auto focus, but whatever. Sunrise. New creative ideas, new ventures, and a fresh start. Because of all the shadow here. Bull could be dealing with a Taurus. I really don't like that it will not focus. Do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. So. A new venture is about to start. You need to you need to stand your ground. Something is going out of your life. Um, you need to get creative. This is like a, a bright tomorrow, okay? But I just heard that song um, tomorrow. Um, oh, jeez, it's gone. But it's something about tomorrow, a better tomorrow. Um, but anyway, something is going to be going out of your life or the end of a situation. So that's what happens when you get a casket. You're going to need to show strength. What do we have for cancer? The devil. The devil, that's temptation, lust, greed, materialism. Uh, toxic, unhealthy, a need to break free. You guys are in some sort of unhealthy situation. There's some sort of codependency here. This is somebody's being, is, it's like the time is almost up. You notice the hourglass. It's like the time is almost up. You know, and somebody is another person's puppet, you know, and they're allowing it. So there's there's something going on here. It's time for you to break free. You need to find a way to break free from some sort of toxic situation. And the devil is a card of ego. It is a card of ego. So, you know, you may have gotten yourself into something and now you're trapped there and you need to find a way to get out of it. And you need to find a way right now before it's too late. Because it feels like it's 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 really consumed you, and you know you probably wish that you never went down this path, but here you are now. Now you're somebody else's. Uh, you know somebody has complete control over you. You have to break free. You have to break free from something, something that is unhealthy, something you are codependent on. Two of Wands reversed. The star. So you need to make a decision. This is indecisiveness. Playing is safe. You may be in a situation that you feel is safe, but it brings you a lot of despair. It's really toxic. It's really unhealthy. You know, you have to make a choice based on your future, based on what you'd want. Do you want to continue to be a slave to something? It's like you, you are a slave. And maybe it could be, it could have something to do with money. Um... But that two of wands is, is, is like you have another path, but you haven't chosen to go down that path because of, I don't know, maybe it's greed. That the devil is greed. Maybe it's ego. Um, maybe it's lust. Maybe it's temptation. Maybe it's addictions. Maybe it's codependency. Uh, it's, it's choosing not to go when you need to go. You need to go. So I think you're wasting time. You're wasting time in a situation that is really not healthy for you. Um, the star is a card of hope. It's a card of renewal. It's a card of inspiration. I feel like there is some sort of guidance here. I feel like you are being guided to go down a new path, but you're resisting it. 
you you do have a new venture ahead, an opportunity for a fresh start. But you're going to have to have faith. You're going to have to believe in yourself. You're going to have to follow your dreams, you know what I mean? Whatever it is that you know you're dreaming about. The star is is very bright, so it's a it's um a wish it's a it's a dream it feels like you have some sort of something you're dreaming about you're dreaming about something but you can't break free you can't break free from something that you're tied to now you know um there's a level of indecision here just choosing choosing to stay in a place that is not making you happy at first it did at first it was great but now it's not so that's pretty interesting the star is a card of hope it's a card of hope it's a card of wish fulfillment star comes after the tower so that means there's probably going to be a tower moment or there has been and and now there's an opportunity there's an opportunity to heal and it may be to heal a partnership because two is a partnership. So you may have an opportunity to heal a union or a partnership, but you may be choosing not to. An ego could be in the way. Could be ego. Could be, you know, you're tied to a situation still that you need to break free from. Um, but that star card is a card of hope, a hope and renewal. So there is a chance for renewal in whatever it is that you're dreaming of. Guaranteed success. Ace of Wands. So this is a new vision. Exciting. Just go for it. Just do it. This signifies just do it. There's something that you are dreaming about doing that you need to take the initiative. You need to take action. Okay? You need to do it. You need to do it. You need to do it. And it's like you need to do it right now before it's too late. Don't let your ego get in the way of happiness. The star is a card of wish fulfillment. It's like a wish being granted. So this is this is a new a new partner, a new exciting adventure, a new a new exciting opportunity coming in, something that you asked for. You may have been asking for something. It's here. It may not be exactly as you envisioned it. But it can this is like it can if you get creative because there's a lot of creativity here, if you get creative, it could really grow into something uh beautiful. For some of you, there there could be something to do with uh, becoming famous or somebody's famous. You know, the star is a star. You think about a star, a movie star, a actress, you know, becoming famous. But somebody is is tied to a very toxic situation that they have not been able to break free from. And it really could be ego. All is not as it seems when you get the devil card. There's a shadow, which we can see that there is. Ooh, Ace of Cups reversed and the King of Swords. So we have somebody here that is using their mind. They're not using their heart. Okay, they're not using their heart. Either it's, this is like heart versus head. And they're, so they're letting like love slip away. This is very emotional. I think we have somebody here that is, you know, blocking their heart. They're blocking their feelings um, because of of pride. Somebody needs to make a decision. They need to make a decision uh, and and really use their heart. But the, whoever this person is, they can't. They cannot use their heart. They're burying their feelings. Um, you may have somebody here that is heartless. Okay, I'm just got to be honest with you. The King of Swords next to the Ace of Cups reverse. This is somebody that is, you know, 
Uh, it could be we could have somebody here that is very stubborn and they could lose something that they love because of pride. That ego, that ego, that devil is is pride and know that it is. There's tears here, a lot of tears. I think we have a very um, hard individual who may end up in their feelings. You know, they may end up in their feelings. They may end up with some tears. I mean, that Ace of Cups is tears. It's sadness. It's a loss of emotional content. So we, we definitely have an individual here that is sad. They're not happy in their current trap, wherever the hell it is that they're trapped. But they need to make a decision, you know, not just on their head, but on their heart. But they're having a hard time doing that because they're so... Oh, harsh, you know, they're so, um, logical, you know, it's not about, it's not about, um, feelings, you know, somebody's trying to block their feelings, you know, trying to, you know, it's not the right thing to do. If it's, if it's not helping your heart, then it's really not the right thing to do. But people get that mixed up all the time. They think, oh, I got to use my head. No, you got to use your heart. So anyway, I feel like at the end of this month, you're going to be, somebody is going to be in their emotions and they're going to be feeling some sort of hurt because of that Ace of Cups reversed. I think they're going to be feeling some sort of hurt for uh, probably being too firm. So we got somebody here that is very, very firm, very decisive. You know, it's like, nope, I'm not going to change my mind, no matter what my heart wants. That devil, that devil is, is toxic, unhealthy situation. Somebody is trapped and trapped in. All is definitely not as it seems. This person is not happy. They're not happy. They're stuck. They're stuck. They're blocking their own happiness. They're dreaming of something better. But they can't take action. And they can't take action because of their ego. <laughs> we also have an individual that isn't following their intuition at all. It feels like they're being guided. They're in because the Ace of Cups is a gateway to intuition. It's reversed. It's, it's like their intuition is is trying to tell them, but they're just not listening. They're too wrapped up in society, too wrapped up in their ego to 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 feel. Three of Pentacles reversed. Now this is not working together. Lack of teamwork. A lack of respect for others. Uh, no communication, unwilling, unwilling to listen. We got somebody here that is unwilling to listen. Could be Capricorn, uh, could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, we have somebody here that is. unable to feel this person is cold they're emotionally unavailable you got you got somebody around you that is emotionally and maybe it's you this could go vice versa it could be you we got somebody here that is emotionally unavailable that is unwilling to compromise right this this per it's hard to to communicate Wheel of Fortune reverse. Now the Wheel of Fortune reverse is a setback. It is a setback. So this is bad luck. It's bad luck. It's bad news. It's a horrendous loss. It is a shocking, unpredictable, horrendous loss. Because somebody is refusing to move on. They're refusing to end a, end a cycle. Or they're refusing to 
step forward. You know, we got somebody here that is stuck, definitely stuck. They are stuck. The Wheel of Fortune reverse, that is a setback. It's bad news of some sort. Something not working out with these two cards. Something isn't working out. The love connection here that isn't working out because there's a lack of communication. There's a lack of togetherness. There's a lack of respect. We got somebody here that will not communicate. They will not. Maybe they just want to have sex with other people. This is like past mistakes coming back to haunt a person. So somebody's past mistakes may be coming back to haunt them. They may be being haunted, seriously, even in their dreams. Somebody's dreaming a lot about their past. And it's like they want another chance. They want another chance, but their pride and their ego is in the way. So I feel like, let's get one more card. What is, what's the overall outcome of this message at the end? This is a, well, there's going to be some tears that are shed by the looks of things. I think they're, I don't know, that Wheel of Fortune reverse could be a loss of some sort. There's some sort of uh, desire to look a certain way. Four of Wands, Four of Wands, the overall, now that is about commitment, happiness, honeymoon, marriage, a gathering, a get-together. There's going to be an upcoming get-together. There's going to be an upcoming gathering. Um, that leads to happiness. But it may not be with the one that you are tied to. Because you've got to have to break free. You gotta break free. Free! Free! Um, we have somebody here that is not communicating. They're not putting in any effort. They're not following their heart. They may be thinking about it though. They could be really, 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 really thinking about it. You know? Um, Four of Wands. This is an upcoming celebration or a reunion. There could be a reunion here. Um, but. You know, I don't know. I don't. I can't. I can't say for sure because it, it really looks like there is a new opportunity with that Ace of Wands. There's an opportunity for happiness. There's an opportunity for for marriage. And maybe that's the horrendous loss. Maybe somebody is losing somebody that you know they dreamt of. You know that they dream of that that was supposed to be there forever. They're losing their forever because of their ego. They're forever could be getting married to somebody else. Could be getting in a commitment with somebody else. That's a horrendous loss. Anyhow, the time is now to take action. That magician is take action. Act now. Action is needed. I think there's a golden opportunity to get what you want, but you have to take charge. You have to find the resources within you to get what you want, to do something. You have to be committed. You have to commit to what you want. So I do feel like, I feel like at the end of the month, I feel like you are going to be doing something that... gives you an opportunity to manifest happiness or to get happiness because this is about happiness. It's like you ask for it, you get it. Your wish will be granted, but you have to do something first. It does, it's not going to fall right into your lap. You have to do something. What is it that you have to do? You have to open your heart. You have to break free from whatever this toxic situation is that is that you're tied to. That's the first step. The first step is for you to break free. If it's If it's fake... 
you have to break free from it. If it's blocking you from your dreams, you have to break free from it. Yeah, it might be a loss, but if it leads to extreme happiness, then hey. I do believe that someone is leaving your life. But I feel like it it allows you to go after happiness. I do feel like there, I also feel like there is there's somebody around you that is um, a dream come true. Okay, I think it's a Gemini. We have Gemini here. We have Gemini here. Um, a Libra, Aquarius. I feel like there's Gemini for some reason. Um, yeah, I do feel like it's a Gemini. It could be somebody else, but I really feel like it's, I feel like it's a Gemini. I feel like there's going to be an upcoming um, celebration or upcoming get together where you may, you may get a chance to uh, show somebody, you know, who you are, whatever that means. Um, You're going to be having a conversation with somebody that um, probably brings out a lot of emotions in you. This could probably, it could lead to a new partnership in the end. Now, the star card is a blessing. It's a blessing in disguise after the tower falls. It's where, where something better comes in. It comes to help you, to pick you up. So, yeah, you're going to be losing something that you have been tied to. But there's a blessing that comes with it. Which is an exciting, fresh start. This is starting from scratch. It's starting over going down that path or going back i don't know where you're where the hell you're going back to but it feels like you're going back to because the wheel for real wheel wheel of fortune reverse and the two of wands reverse it's like turning around and going back so i'm not sure if somebody is going back So anyway, Cancer, I feel like at the end of the month, you, you know, you're going to have to, you're going to have to get unstuck. You have to get unstuck. You need to break free from whatever this situation is that you're tied to. End of story. It's time. It is. It is definitely time. Remove that blockage. There's something blocking you from a new life, blocking you from happiness, blocking you from your dreams. Maybe it's, I don't know if it's a drug alcohol something you're codependent on could be another person you have to you have to basically yeah show your strength and fortitude you need you're going to need to be strong you're going to need to go after your dreams do not let anybody hold you back or anything so at the end of this month you may be quitting and maybe you're quitting something yeah that's what it is you're quitting you because out of that three of coins reverse I, I quit taking action to bring success doing whatever it takes to get what you want I think that you know you have the power you have the power to get what you want but it's going to require you to take action. And at the end of this month, I think you need to kick it into gear. This could also be somebody taking action towards you. Okay? It could be because this could go vice versa. We definitely have somebody that is about to do something. They're about to do something because they want success. They want this opportunity. And they're willing to do whatever it takes to get it. You could also end up at a place. I don't know where it's at. I don't know if it's a... 
I don't know, some sort of situation. It could be what I just heard was hospital. And I don't mean in a bad way. Um, but if I don't know what it is. You and, and you know, you meet somebody. Anyhow, um, you do have a fresh start here. There's no doubt about it with this card and this card. You have an opportunity to start fresh. This is a time of happiness. This is a new beginning for you. It's an exciting new beginning. But you have to get unstuck. You have to be willing to accept. You need to be willing to accept change. And that's a problem with the Wheel of Fortune reversed. So anyway, um, good luck. <laughs>